My name is John Wellington Wells. I'm a dealer in magic and spells. In blessings and curses and ever filled purses and prophecies, witches and nails. If you want a proud foe to make tracks, if you're not a rich uncle in wax, you've got to look in on the resident chin number 70, Simmery Axe. We have a first rate assortment of magic, and for raising a posthumous shade, with effects that are comic or tragic, there's no cheaper house in the trade. The filter we've quantities of it, and for knowledge, if anyone burns, we're keeping a very small profit, a profit who brings us unbounded returns. For he can prophesy with the wink of his eye, peep with security into futurity. Sum up your history, clear up a mystery, humor, proclivity, foreign activity, foreign activity. He has answers oracular, bogey spectacular, tetrapods tragical, mid or so magical, facts astronomical, solemn or comical. And if you want it, he makes a reduction in taking a quantity. Oh! Anything lacks, he'll find it already in stacks. If he'll only look in on the resident gin of the seventy seven acts. <laughs> He can raise you hosts of ghosts and rats without reflectors and creepy things with wings and gaunt grisly specters. He can fill you crowds of shrouds and horrify you vastly. He can rack your brains with chains and shiverings grim and ghosts. <laughs> Then if you plan it, he changes organity with an urbanity full of satanity, vexes humanity with an inanity, fatal to vanity, driving your foes to the verge of insanity. Body totology, in demonology, electrobiology, mystic physiology, spirit nostalgia, high class astrology, such as his knowledge, he isn't the man to require an apology. Oh! My name is John Wellington Wells. I'm a dealer in magic and spells, in blessings and curses and ever-filled purses and prophecies, witches and nails. If you want a proud to make tracks, if you've met a chunk of wax, you've got to look in on resident chin number 70, Simmery Axe. <laughs>